We have a case in which the patient presented with exertional breathlessness since his two years. With initially the patient had episodes of paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea, but now the patient is orthopnea with grade three, uh, grade uh, three pillow grade, and the patient also has pedal edema since the last four months. On examination, the JVP is raised. The patient has a pulse rate of 110 beats per minute, with regular high volume pulse, but the character is normal. The blood pressure of the patient is 130 by 65 millimeter of mercury. On examination, on inspection, the patient's impulse is present in the sixth intercostal space, lateral to the mid clavicular line, and the area is four centimeter square. There is a visible parasternal heave present, and also there is a visible epigastric impulse present. On palpation, the apex beat is located in the sixth intercostal space, lateral to the mid clavicular line, and the area is four centimeter square. The heave is also palpable and can be obliterated. There is a palpable epigastric impulse with impulse touching the tip of the finger. With palpable P2 in the second intercostal space on the left side, and also there is a systolic thrill present over the middle area. So this is the case, and now we will try to apply and try to diagnose without we having a murmur. So. As the patient has exertional breathlessness with PND with orthopnea, and these are the cardinal symptoms of a right of a left ventricular failure. So the patient initially had left ventricular failure, but since the last four months, the patient also has pedal edema. So might be the patient now has gone into right ventricular failure. This is what we have suspected on a history. On examination, the JVP of the patient is raised. Which also goes in favor of the right, right ventricular failure. The pulse rate of the patient is high volume, with also the pulse pressure of the patient is high. So this suggests the patient probably has a regurgitant lesion. So the vitals, that is the heart rate and blood pressure, is very important, as it can help us to know whether the lesion is stenotic or regurgitant. So if the there is a low volume pulse with low pulse pressure. Then it is probably a stenotic lesion. Whereas if there is a high volume pulse, then it is probably a regurgitant lesion. Now on cardiovascular system examination, the apex impulse is in sixth intercostal space, lateral to the mid clavicular line. That that means that the apex impulse is down and out, and also it the area is increased. So this suggests that the probably there is a LV dilation. That is the eccentric hypertrophy is present, which usually occurs secondary to volume overload. Okay, and as the patient has a visible parasternal heave with a palpable heave which can be obliterated, the patient has a grade two parasternal heave which suggests towards right ventricular hypertrophy. Also, as the patient has visible epical epigastric impulse which is touching the tip of finger, this also suggests that the patient probably has right ventricular hypertrophy. Also, the patient has palpable P2 in the second intercostal space on the left side, which we also discussed that it is probably due to pulmonary hypertension. And also, there is a systolic thrill present over the mitral area. As on with the uh, heart rate and the blood pressure, we suspected it to be a regurgitant lesion. Also, based on the dilated left ventricle, it suggests that there is a volume overload. And also, as there is a systolic thrill present over the middle area, that is, there is a systolic murmur, which is being palpated, and it is probably regurgitant. So, a regurgitant systolic murmur will probably due to a mitral regurgitation, and which is being palpated. So, this is probably a case in which the patient initially had mitral regurgitation. Which led to left ventricular dilation, leading to left ventricular failure. The mitral regurgitation also led to the left atrial dilation, followed by pulmonary hypertension, leading to right ventricular hypertrophy, followed by right ventricular failure. Uh, how we are thinking of it is due to high volume pulse with high pulse pressure. This probably regurgitant lesion with. systolic thrill present so probably mr lv dilation as the apex is shifted shifted outward and downward with area 4 cm square 
as the patient has palpable p2 it is probably due to hypertension as the patient has raised jvp on history also the patient has pedal edema raised jvp is present grade 2 heave is present the patient has epigastric pulse also so this is suggestive of rvh